visions disappear What I put my heart on every cursive letter Tell me why the hell no one is here Tell me Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and this is not like any tutorial because I'm a little bit drunk so just like a, a warning I don't know um I am 21 so don't get it twisted I am overage I'm not underage and I just thought that this would be a good idea to film a drunk tutorial because why not I watched a couple other here on YouTube and I think they're really funny um, and I'm not usually funny when I'm sober, so <laughs> maybe I'm funny when I'm drunk. I don't know. Anyways, so just a note to my underage viewers, do not drink underage. That is dangerous. That is not safe. Dangerous and not safe mean the same thing. Um, but it's not safe, so please don't drink underage. So, yes. And if you are underage, don't even watch this video because, you know, so just... Just warning. Okay. So, today I am drinking wine. Because I'm so fancy. Um, I feel like such a mom drinking wine. This is a white Zinf Zin Zinfidel, something like that. Um, but it's not white. It's pink because it has berries flavoring or something. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if this video is probably going to be too long and too annoying and probably honestly when I edit this I'm probably going to like roll my eyes <laughs> so hard. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so starting off, oh, I hate the taste of alcohol, but I like wine. I'm sorry, but I get really giggly when I'm drunk, so I'm gonna like try to keep that to a minimum. Let me like sit up. The heck. Okay. So, I'm taking my Anastasia Brahma made. Okay, I need to like breathe. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Brow Pomade. I need to enunciate, and I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm yelling. But I'm taking it on an angled brush, and I'm going to do my eyebrows. This may turn out very bad because I've never done my makeup drunk before, so I don't know. It may turn out good though, you never know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. I need to find a mirror. Okay, and I'm going to start on my eyebrows. I always take a spoolie first and brush through them. Do my eyebrows just a smudge on this. This mirror is too big. And if I keep looking down, I'm just because I'm looking down on my computer to tell if it's still recording. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna lose so many subscribers after this video. <laughs> before I even okay so actually the reason why I filmed this video was to celebrate 2,000 that's for 2,000 subscribers we I have we have 2,000 family members now holy shit guys holy shit 2,000 subscribers that's freaking crazy um so yeah freaking awesome I love you guys so much you guys are all so awesome and I appreciate your guys's support and comments so much you guys are literally the most awesome people on the whole planet so yeah anyways I'll get back to doing my eyebrows <laughs> okay I feel like I have to concentrate very hard to do this but that's okay because I'm a good concentrator A little bit too much product. So far, so good. 
I'm honestly not doing anything tonight, so like I don't care if it turns out good or bad. But I'm gonna try my hardest for good, you know. Oh my gosh, what is this clump? Maybe I should do this off camera because I think it just takes too long. other eyebrow off camera real fast and I will be right back. I'm done with my eyebrows and you know what? I think they look pretty good. They did not turn out bad so it's looking good for this tutorial. Oh my god. I sound like such a mess. I got f just letting you know I got 15 hours of sleep last night. 15 hours. So like I'm extra tired because I slept too much, you know what I mean? Because that's the thing, if you sleep too much you'll get tired just like if you slept too little. The more you know. <laughs> Anyways, I made <laughs> my eye. See, I laugh at myself a lot, so like I'm sorry if that annoys you. Probably my eyes is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. <laughs> I think the name is pretty funny. I need my eyes. Sometimes I feel like I should you should prime your eyes before you do your foundation because doing your foundation because sometimes primers can like if you put it over foundation it can mess with the powder because I like to prime my eyes way out here. Because sometimes I like my eyeshadows to go way out there, so... I don't know. I'm going to do pink eyeshadow, because why the heck not? Okay. Yep. I'm going to do it. Might as well. Okay, so I'm going to start off... Go. I'm sorry, I keep like not looking at the camera, but I'm going to look at the camera. I'm going to take, since this is a bright look, I'm going to take Stark and Inheim from my Gwen Stefani palette. That's these two right here mixed. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Just as a transition color for the pink that I'm going to be putting in. It's looking good. But actually, I'm going to put... Hi, pudding! Hi, cutie pie! She's playing back there. I'm going to put some Master Precise Master Conceal by Maybelline Concealer. I'm going to put it like in the inner corners of my eyes and like underneath just so that when I do my eyeshadows because I'm going to go in my inner corner with my eyeshadows and they're pretty dark in there so I don't want to put shadows and then not be able to go in with foundation or concealer over it so I'm going to put that first even though I already did some eyeshadow because I forgot to do this but I do this in all my tutorials by the way or in all my makeup looks, I just don't ever film it. So just a tip for you, if you have dark inner corners and you do your eyeshadow first, lay down some concealer there first. Just a good tip for you guys. Okay. Pick up some more Anaheim and Stark. Do the other eye. I'm going to pick up some... Some pink from my electric palette. This stuff is gonna stain my eyes, but oh well. Pick it up and I'm gonna put this in my crease and I'm gonna blend it all the way in. Pudding. She's such a silly cat. Okay, I'm gonna blend. Should I zoom you guys in? 
I don't know. Should I zoom you? I'm going to zoom you guys into my eyeball so you can see better. Okay. So I zoomed you in. And right now I'm putting, what is the color called? Savage. I'm putting Savage in my crease. I've never done an all pink look before. So I'm just putting that in my crease and I'm blending it out. This one's not wanting to blend as well as the other ones. But it's still, it's still good. Okay. So, as you can see, that's a lot of pink. So, next, to darken it up. Um, I'm going to take my Naked 3 palette since it's, it's very pink based. And I'm going to take some of, some of Black, Black Heart. It's like a black with pink shimmer. I'm going to take a little bit of that. I'm going to put that on the outside corner and the inside corner. You know, honestly, I never do halo eyes, so, the re for, so why I decided to do one when I was drunk, I honestly don't know. And then you can connect it up top. the brush that I use the pink on and I'm going to blend that. and I blend it a little bit in towards the center of my eye. And I'm going to pick up more pink to blend this, this darkness out. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to apply that. And just blend it. And I don't usually worry about over here getting too messy because I'll just clean it up with my eyeshadow anyways. too bad I don't think I mean it's not something I would wear out right now because it's very messy but honestly who cares you know maybe I will wear it out just kidding I'm drunk and I can't go anywhere okay <laughs> next I'm gonna be taking the party dress from my um, Too Faced the Grand Palace, that's this pink shimmery color, I'm going to take it on my finger and apply it to the center of my eyelid. Oops. I wish the little Grand Palace palette had a mirror. Alright, alright, alright. So it kind of applied it everywhere, but the, it'll, it'll still show up over the dark colors, you know, like the dark colors will still show up. I'm getting all out of my face. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use a fluffy brush to blend this because it's not that blended. Why didn't I go for a more natural look since I know that I'm freaking drunk? What is wrong with me? I guess just go bang or go home, to be honest. I'm going to pick up more pink. Because I want this to have a more pink vibe. I'm just going to blend that. Okay, it's getting very dark very fast. And just an 
gonna try to blend this out. I don't want pink to go all the way to my eyebrow. So I'm just gonna blend this with a fluffy brush. Then I'm gonna take some more blue, blue grain palettes. You know, party dress from my Too Faced palette. And I'm apply more towards my on my lid because it kind of got washed out. And honestly, this looks like such a mess. I don't even care. I'm gonna take a makeup remover wipe. I'm just gonna clean this up. I don't. I don't know. I don't think it looks that bad. Oh, and since I'm using pink, I'll use Harajuku for my Urban Decay, and I'm gonna put that on the very center of my lid to give it some more lightness. And it's not really showing up. Actually, no, I think it did a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, it looks bad, but like... <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Um, I'm going to do my eyeliner now. And I am going to do a pop of color, even though I have pink on my eyes, I'm going to do some more color. And I'm going to use my Love Crime Citrus Eyeliner. And I'm just going to line my eyes, and I'm going to do a wing, so, yeah. The only thing I don't like about these liners oops, is that they're kind of sheer, which is kind of annoying. But it's a really nice color. You can do that right with the way the other one dries. Together. Oops, sorry. Okay. Done with the liner because I don't want to keep layering this shit. So I'm going to zoom you out and I'm going to do my foundation. So, Okay, so now I'm going to do my foundation. Honestly, I don't think this looks too bad. Like, I could probably wear this out. Although I wish the center was brighter, but it's not. So it doesn't matter. I don't, just ignore me, honestly. So I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to use my fingers. I know it's super unsanitary, but I don't care. I did wash my hands before I started my makeup, so that helps at all. <laughs> I'm just going to like rub this all over my face. And then I'll go in and blend it with my beauty blender. You know what is a question that I have for like everybody? Everybody calls their Knock off beauty blenders, beauty blenders. Like, why don't we just call them sponges, you know? Like, why do we call them beauty blender? Does, like, beauty blender own the name for, like, blending sponges in a circular shape? Does that make sense at all? Probably not. Like, I call this a beauty blender, but it's not a real beauty blender, you know what I mean? Am I just, like, talking nonsense right now? Because I feel like I am. Um, I was just curious, <laughs> so I'm taking my beauty blender, which isn't really a beauty blender, and I'm going to blend that out. So tired, oh my gosh. Got some in my eyebrow. Meh. Yeah. I like this color combination on my eyes, so. 
I think I'm going to do this when I'm sober. Oh, this eyeliner is like cracking because I put too many layers. Oh my gosh. That's not fair. Oh, I'm getting eyeliner stuff everywhere. If I put an eyeliner on, I want it to be opaque. And if it's not opaque, then I'm going to have to layer it, you know? But then when I layer it, it cracks. So what the heck, Lime Crime? I usually love all their stuff. And what the heck? Now I'm taking my Maybelline Master Conceal and I'm going to use that to conceal under my eyes. You know, I would have never have thought to put these colors together when I was so when I'm sober. But when I'm drunk, it just comes out and I honestly really like them together. I have not used this yellow eyeliner yet since I've had it and I literally got it months ago. Because I haven't known what to wear it with. Sorry, I keep blocking. I am not concealing these dark babies today. They are just like not wanting to conceal. The, okay, by the way, the reason I slept 15 hours last night is because the night before, I did not sleep at all. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me. I could not sleep. I could not fall asleep for anything. And so I literally stayed up until 10 in the morning, and then I fell asleep until 12. So that was two hours of sleep I got. And then I was awake all day, and then I fell asleep that day until at 7. Went to bed at 7, and then woke up at like 12 today. So like, holy shit. <laughs> So I guess it makes sense because like I made up for the night before, but like, that's a lot of sleep, you know? Okay, so now, I'm taking my Rimmel, Rimmel Steam Matte Powder. So I'm going to take my Beauty Blender Sponge and I'm going to set my under eyes with my Rimmel Steam Matte Powder. And then I'm going to take my powder brush and set the rest on my face. Personally, I like a lot of powder. So that everything blends good, you know? I think I'm going to have to add some more eyeliner to this. It's not completely opaque still. Wake me up. Before you go, go. I have this song stuck in my head. So I don't plan on going so low. I don't even like know the real words. I was watching Gilmore Girls and they played it, and so I was just have had it stuck in my head ever since. Oh my gosh, it feels so good when I close my eyes. I'm literally so tired. It's not like a thing people say. I don't think so. You know what? I kind of want to do tears, like glitter tears that were like super in like a month ago. Kind of, oh my gosh, how much powder am I going to use? Holy shit. Sorry. Kind of just like lost it with the powder. Um, like glitter tears. You know what I'm talking about. Glitter tears, like everybody's done them. Because like my eyes are already so crazy, you know? Anyways, I'm taking the Lime Prime eyeliner again real fast and I'm just going to go over this because it's not real opaque how I'm wanting it and it's cracking so like you know like another coat wouldn't be ideal but kind of needs one can you guys see that it's a different color when I apply it probably not you guys are probably too zoomed out anyways 
So now, for my under eye, I'm just going to take this brush that I was using to blend the pink. And I'm not going to put any product on it because it has a lot of pink on it still. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes. See, I didn't even need anything. You know what, like, my favorite activity is? I'm, like, not even kidding. Like, rolling my eyes. I love rolling my eyes. It's just the best, like, come back to anything. Like, if someone says something to you that you don't agree with, or, like, someone says, like, is you an insult, or, like, someone, like, says something stupid, like, honestly... Just roll your eyes at them. Like, they'll get the point, you know? Oh, I'm picking up more pink, by the way. Some more of the Savage Color. I feel like I'm definitely going to re regret using this pink in the morning because it's stained. But, like, oh well. There's a... Then I'm going to take that fluffy brush that I was doing earlier and blend it a little bit. Now I'm going to take mascara and I'm going to do this off camera because I always do my mascara off camera because like mascara takes forever. And I will be right back. Okay, so I finished my mascara and I'm going to take my Smith's Rosebud Salve and I'm going to put this on my lips to prime them for my lipstick. So yeah, okay. So next step is to take my contour brush. I don't know what's wrong with me, I can't think. And my benefit powder. Hula. Hula bronzer. I'm gonna use this to contour. Then I'm going to take my angled blush brush and I'm going to use this to blend it out. So tired. a little bit more bronzer. Oops, that was the wrong side of the brush. I'm just going to use it to blend it upwards a bit. Remember, never blend downwards when you're doing contour. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> contour looks that bad. Then for blush, I want to take a bright pink blush because why not? I already have bright pink and purple. It looks pink and purple, but I swear I only use pink and like a black. I guess pink and black makes purple. Anyways, I keep slouching. I'm very sorry. Oh my gosh, I just looked in my dress and there's foundation all over it. Oh my god, I was planning on wearing this again. <laughs> but I can't. Look, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try not to like flash you, but. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh my gosh, that sucks. But anyways, I'm taking this bright pink shade. <laughs> from my e.l.f. palette and apply this to my cheeks. 
Ooh, that is some bright pink. And I put too much. Oh well, who cares if it's too bright. <laughs> I don't know why I made that face. Anyways, done with blush. I'm going to take my powder brush and blend it. You guys know the drill. Then for highlights, you know what I'm going to take, girl. Don't even play. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to use Pink Heart as a blush topper. Actually, I'm going to use Pink Heart and Blue Moon because, I don't know. Like, why not? I'm going to use that as a blush topper. I haven't used Blue Moon yet. And then, I'm going to take Blue Ice, a lot of it, and I'm going to highlight everywhere. Holy shit. Yes. Just this, oh my god. Okay, so my camera turned off, and I don't know when it turned off, so I'm just going to like do it again, I guess. I took blue ice from my Anastasia Moonchild palette and I just applied it everywhere. And I'm just going to apply more because why the heck not? Look at that. Holy oh, shit. So gorgeous. And by everywhere, I mean literally everywhere. Yes. Okay. And then just to blend it a little bit. Oh my gosh. I'm <laughs> taking my powder brush and just blend, blend it into the skin. Yes. Okay. Okay, that was dramatic. So now I'm going to do tears. I've decided. So I don't know whether to use this green glitter. It's not the color of my eyeliner but it's like close enough or I have this yellow pigment this little yellow pigment I don't know where this thing is from my cousin gave it to me I know I have a lime green glitter this color but I don't know where it's at so let's just I'm just gonna take this yellow pigment and I'm gonna apply some a bunch of glitter glue a bunch of this e.l.f. glitter primer on the back of my hand and I'm just going to see so I put like that much I'm just going to see how it works you feel me I need like a flat brush whatever I'm going to take some of this put it in the glitter glue Nah, I need something sparkly and shimmery. This is just not right. So, I'm just going to use... Or should I do pink? I have pink glitter. Should I do pink tears? Oops. I have clear. I think I'm going to do pink. Should I apply this? I'm just going to take this brush. Okay, I'm really scared about if this ruins the whole look. I need a mirror. Oh, I should have applied some glitter on my on my lid. This is without any primer either. This is just the glitter. I'm just gonna apply, I'm just applying like tear strokes, as if I were crying. What if I spray like water on my face with that? Make it sick because I put water in this in this primer spray, so I'm just gonna spray water. Okay, I 
sprayed a lot because I want to get my face wet for the glitter to stick to. So I'm going to have to work fast. Oh yeah, that's much better. I mean, I don't know if it's looking good. This side, I think, looks a lot better. It actually looks like tears. This side kind of looks like flames. So I'm just going to drag this down. If there's not much product on it. I'm just going to drag it down. Make it look like leftover tears. I think this is totally too much. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting to do on my drunk makeup tutorial. I keep slouching. <laughs> okay, so my tears are on. Now I'm just going to apply fake lashes. And this glitter is stuck to my hand. Putting the glitter away. I'm done with the glitter. <gasps> Ugh. I really wish I could have done yellow. Do I have bright? I don't have bright neon Ugh. lipstick. No. Oh my gosh, this was open. And I just picked it up with my hands and the lid came off and it got all over me, this eyeliner. What am I doing? Okay. So, now, I'm going to put fake lashes and I'm going to use my dramatic Double Wispies by Ardell and I'll be right back because this just takes too long. So, catch you in a minute. Okay, so I apply the lashes. Took me quite a while, not gonna lie, but I did figure out what lipstick I'm going to do. So, hold on. So, what I'm gonna do for lips is I'm gonna take Jordana Plush Plum Lip Liner and I'm going to line my lips. I literally never line my lips. Like, I don't know why I'm doing it right now. Oh, I'm using an Ultra Sand Lip by Colourpop, that's why. I just remembered. I'm not using a matte lip. wood lipstick. Wow, I'm so tired. Okay, so now I'm going to use Panda by Color Express. This is a Color Express. <laughs> Colourpop, this is an ultra satin lip. I'm just going to apply this all, oops, all over my lips. I think it matches my eyes really good.
Overlining your lips is hard when you're like a little dizzy. This color is all over my lips and it's like not right. I don't know. I'm gonna take some of the new some of New York City from Lime Crime and I'm gonna take that on my finger. And I'm going to play this to the center of my lips. It's actually not doing anything at all. I don't know. I guess I'm done. I think I'm going to do yellow freckles. Okay, so, almost done. I'm going to take Lime Crime Citrus, the same liner that I was using earlier, and I'm going to do freckles. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, this eyeliner, and I'm just going to start doing freckles with it. Because why not? I think you can like barely see them because I'm so white but like I just wanted to add that little bit of yellow oops that's not a freckle that's a line okay okay guys so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that this is not like the everyday, an everyday look for most people, but I really just like it. I think it's fun. Um, honestly, if you just want to do this look without the glitter tears, it would be really cute for, for like a date night or like work. I don't know. Um, but I really, I think it turned out much better than I anticipated. Honestly, when I sat down today, this is not what I was expecting to do. I was not expecting to do, like, a crazy look. But, you know, go big or go home is what I always say. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I guess just like and subscribe. Um, thank you for the 2,000 subscribers. I, I love you guys all so much. And I will just talk to you guys in my next video. So, bye.